Welcome back, Lucy. It's been a while. Good afternoon, Death. Or is it morning? My thoughts have been so scattered lately. It's okay. I'm just glad you're back. It gets quite lonely in this old library. I still can't believe more people don't come here to read all these amazing stories. I love it here. Not to mention, you're a great librarian. Uh, that's sweet of you to say. Unfortunately, most people don't share that opinion of this place, or of me. Hence, my dreaded nickname, the Grim Reaper. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're just doing your job. And I think it's marvelous that you turn people's lives into books. I appreciate that, Lucy. I really do. Oh, I almost forgot. I brought you something. Cookies. Oh, you're much too kind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think I'm going to wander around and just pick something out to read. Actually, Lucy, I think I have the perfect book for you today. Why don't you head over to your favorite reading spot and I'll meet you there. Here you go. Thank you. Wait, there's no title. It's a, it's a work in progress but I promise you'll enjoy it. Okay. Warmly, Death smiles and watches Lucy head off to her favorite reading spot. Death, a man of the past and present, a librarian to most and a grim reaper to all. This is Death, the actual being who takes one's life when their time has come to an end. He owns this very library, not just an ordinary one, an extraordinary one at that. Every book contains a reaped soul's life story, which is written immediately after they pass on. Every detail in every page filled with magnificence. This library is open always and anyone can come and read someone's life story. Lucy has been coming here for years. Throughout the afternoon, Death watches Lucy read each page enthusiastically. Within the confines of this mystic library, the reading process is accelerated. Many times she found herself filled with joy and delight, laughing hysterically at this person's story. But there are also times she found herself crying with so much grief and hurt within her heart. How do you like the book so far, Lucy? This story is so amazing. It weaves such a blend of emotions. This woman's life has been truly memorable. She was very blessed. Her life life was magnificent. I just have one last page to read. Wait, this book is my life. Despite what most people think, death feels genuine sorrow when reaping a soul. In fact, this time, even more so. Over the years, he had grown quite fond of Lucy. She'd been suffering with Alzheimer's for a while now, and sadly, she had forgotten her own life. Usually when death reaps a soul, it moves on to the next life without ever getting a chance to read their own story. But in this particular case, death felt sympathy for this poor woman. Before he reaped her soul, he wanted to give her extra time to remember her own memories and remember every rich detail found within her own story. Lucy was special. Before placing it on the shelf, Death smiles at the thought of Lucy's memories and her life well lived. She was right. It was magnificent. Carefully, Death places the book in its reserved space, much like a grave, with his eyes closed. Death inhales the musty smell of time. A single tear falls onto the cold wooden floor with a muffled plop. <laughs>